During World War II, many fighting overseas never made it home. Families for decades have grieved their loss, hoping for any sort of closure. For one Conway man, that closure finally happened today as his brother was laid to rest. THV 11's Ian Russell explains how this happened. Time, I never would have believed that it would lead to this extraordinary homecoming. Memories are eventually lost to time. <laughs> But Joe Brindley never forgot. I was so excited. I think I had tears. I was so excited about it. And I think waiting all that time and thinking it would never happen was just so great. His brother, Kenyon, a member of the United States Army Air Force during World War II, always sending letters to his little brother, Joe. When he would write, he said, I had a good mission today. We did a good job. He was successful until the end. Kenyon was flying over Germany during the Battle of Gotha, successfully bombing German aircraft factories, but his plane was shot down, killing him and several others. Germans found his remains, and after the war, his remains were recovered and kept in Belgium. Joe never thought he would have the closure of getting his brother back. You can't believe how exciting it is to have somebody in your family have that happen, especially after 79 years. As for how they identified Kenyon, a lucky connection from a distant relative, great niece, Susan Smith. And out of that family of 11 siblings, my brother and I were the only two who qualified for this. Smith dabbles in genealogy on the side, fitting because it was her DNA that was used to correctly match Kenyon's remains. And even decades after his death, Kenyon is bringing the family together. The also really cool thing about this was, before all this process started, I didn't know Joe. Which brings us here, a family reunited, a brother, back home, a proper memorial decades later. I just wanted to add to uh, recognition for the family. I had a flag flown over the U.S. Capitol in honor of your brother and, and your family. We wanted to present that to you. And hope for other families still searching for their loved ones as well. Oh, I can't see how it wouldn't. Yeah, I think that would be other people that have that same thing happen. Have to be very, very excited. In Conway, Ian Russell, THV 11 News.